Hello everyone! Today I'm excited to show you how to migrate your website from one web hosting provider to another. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I have this blog website for some time now. I bought the domain name with Namecheap, which is a great domain registrar and support is very helpful. You can check them. I left the link in the description. And I was hosting this blog website with Bluehost. Again, I'm very satisfied with their service so far. If you want to host your first website, feel free to grab the link in the description to get a cheap and reliable web hosting from Bluehost. In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate your website, as I said, from one web hosting provider to another. In this particular video, I'm going to migrate the website from Bluehost to Hostinger. But the migration steps work from any web hosting to another. I'll also migrate the domain name from Namecheap to Hostinger. The reason is I want to buy shared hosting that allows me to host multiple websites on one plan and Hostinger offers what I need and all my websites will be in one place. I've talked about Hostinger in these videos. They offer the cheapest web hosting with generous resources. So I think Hostinger offers the best plans on internet at this moment of time for those who are just starting their online business. For those who want to host their first website. To migrate your website from one hosting provider to another, you have three options. Auto migration, some web hosting providers offer migration service. Hostinger is one of them and the migration service is free if you buy a web hosting with them. I left the link of Hostinger, if you use it, you will get a discount. But the Hostinger migration only works for WordPress websites. If your website was created with Blogger, Wix or Shopify, they can't be migrated but you have to recreate them. So it depends on your provider, they may not have the option for free migration. So you need to look for other options. The second option is to use a plugin to migrate your WordPress website. There are some free plugins to help you migrate your website, but you don't want to rely on them. As sometimes you run into issues and your website might crash. But if you still want a plugin to migrate your website, here are some options. Updraft Plus, Backup Buddy and VaultPress. The third option of migrating your website, the third option that you can use to migrate your website is to do it manually. You can follow some easy steps that I'm going to show you in this video. So let's migrate this website manually and see how it works. I'm going to migrate the domain name first. So sign up with Hostinger. The link is in the description. I have an account with Hostinger already and this is the dashboard. I bought a domain name with them previously, as you can see here. So on this dashboard, go to domains and then you have two options. Either get a new domain or transfer an existing domain. In this case, I'm going to transfer a domain that I have already. So I'm going to choose the second option and you click transfer. Now it's not done yet. Obviously they have to take the payment and it's one year payment and the price depends on the domain name you choose. As you can see, we didn't finish yet. The domain transfer process is not finished yet. We have to go to the previous domain name registrar. So you log in, uh, in my case, to Namecheap. You can see this domain name is expiring and it says renew now. So I'm going to go to the dashboard and here it asks you to give you two options, either renew or manage. I'm going to choose manage. So now I choose sharing and transfer. If you go down, you can see here we have to unlock the domain name to be able to transfer it. And that's what I'm going to do now. And it says authentication code to be able to transfer it successfully. So we unlock it, domain unlocked successfully. And now we click on this authentication code to be able to transfer it to Hostinger. Now here they ask you to, to choose the option on why you transferring from this registrar. Just writing for convenience and then send the code. The code will be sent to your email address and here's the code. I'm going to copy this code and we head back to Hostinger. Here it asks you to either use existing profile or add a new profile. I'm going to choose existing profile and here it asks you to enter the code that we just copied. Here you can choose use Hostinger name servers and DNS record, best for use with hosting plans and that's what we're doing, or use Hostinger name servers but keep the existing DNS zone records or keep existing name servers but it will not change. DNS management remains with the previous domain provider. I'll choose the first option because everything is set up with Hostinger and then transfer the domain. Well, it's, it's not instant. As you can see here, this, it says domain transfer will take up to five to seven business days to complete. I had to wait more than five days for the to get my domain name transferred to Hostinger. So as you can see, 
It shows pending setup. Now after a few days, I'm back. The domain name is, says it's active, but the email verification is still pending. I will ask to resend the verification email to be to verify it, and then I did verify it. The next step is to buy a web hosting with Hostinger. I'm going to do that. So on the Hostinger dashboard, we're going to hosting and then we choose shared web hosting. I'm going to choose the premium web hosting that allows me to host up to 100 websites. I talked about this plan in a previous video that you can see here and it's straightforward. You need to pay for that plan and you instantly can start setting up your web hosting. That's it. I bought the premium web hosting and you can see here it appears on the dashboard under the domain names. The step three is to start downloading the website files and that is from the previous web hosting provider. In my case, it's Bluehost. So I logged in on my Bluehost dashboard. Before downloading the files, you need to remember the PHP version of the current web hosting. You have to set up the same PHP version in the new web hosting. If you don't, the website won't load properly and it might crash because some of the plugins won't work. So on Bluehost, I'm going to go to advanced tab and then PHP configuration. You can see here my current website is using the PHP 7.4. So I'll make sure when I go to Hostinger, I'm uploading the files there. The PHP is set to the same version. Now on Bluehost, I'm going to my site manage and then I go to settings, scroll down, scroll all the way down to file manager. If I open file manager, we'll find this file called public HTML. So I'm going to compress it. And here we have the compressed public HTML file. Now I'm going to download this file on my computer. Now I'm going to download this file on my computer. Next step is to download database file. Now we go to PHP my admin. We open PHP my admin and we go to MySQL. And you can see my database on the left. We're going to click export and then go. And it's as simple as that. The database files are exported. Are exported to the wherever you want to put it on your computer. Step five is uploading the website files. Uploading the website files to the new website hosting provider. In this case is Hostinger. So I'm going to the Hostinger dashboard again. We start setting up our web hosting that we bought earlier. Ask you a few questions. And here it asks you if you're creating for yourself, creating for someone else, if you have a client, or if you already have a website. That's my case. I have already a website ready. I'm just transferring it to this new web provider, web hosting provider. And ask you what type of website you're transferring. In my case, it's a blog website. You can choose whatever suits your needs. And then I'll build it myself or hire the developer. Then you choose uh, from the options if you built it yourself or hired someone else. In my case, I built it myself. Now here it gives you the option either to create a new website from scratch or migrate your existing website. You can skip both options if you want to. I'm going to select migrate my website and here it asks you to either upload the website or transfer. You can see the option on the right, the transfer can be done for you by hosting her for free or on the left that you can do it manually. And we're going to do, try to do it manually here. So I'm going to select upload website and then I choose a file. I'm going to skip that we'll, and we'll do it in a minute. And let's go to the next step. Next step is claim a free domain. With this plan that I chose, the premium web hosting with Hostinger, offer you a free domain name. Choose a domain name that is that you have or use an existing domain that is purchased at another provider. Now we're almost done with the setup. I'm going to speed up the this step. And here we, they say, well done, you're ready. We'll go to the control panel and here we're going to manage the site. That's the website dashboard. They say the domain name is not connected to Hostinger. We're going to do that in a minute. Let's download the files first. So we go to file manager and here you see public HTML. The default PHP you can delete if you want to because it's not needed. So you go to upload, choose the file that you we downloaded earlier. That's the zipped file that we downloaded from the previous web hosting provider. Once it's uploaded, we go into unzip it and that's all. That's it for the web file. Step six is we're going to upload the database file that we downloaded and it's on our computer 
at the moment. So on Hostinger dashboard again, we choose database. Here we can create a new MySQL database. Just give it a name and a username and a password and then click create. But the database is created as you can see here. Now we enter the PHP my admin to upload the database file. We're going to import, choose a file that we downloaded earlier and that's the one. And once it's done, just click go and it's done. We haven't finished yet. We have a few steps to do before we transfer the website successfully. Now we go back to Hostinger dashboard. We go to file manager and we go to public HTML file that we downloaded our website files before. We go to public HTML and here we look for wp-config.php. Right click and edit. Here you can see the name, the username and the password are not correct. These are from a pre previous provider. We're going to update this information. We go back to the database that we created earlier and we copy this information, the database name, and we replace it. We replace it here. We go back, copy the username, the database and the password. And then we hit save on the right. That's it. That's done. We have a final thing that we need to check is the PHP version. If you remember, we noted down the PHP version of the website on Bluehost and it was 7.4. On here, on Hostinger, we have to set it up to the same, same PHP version so we won't have any problems. Head to the Hostinger dashboard and if you check under in advanced under PHP configuration, the PHP version is set to 8 here, but we want it 7.4. So I'm going to change it and update the PHP version. And here it's successfully updated. Transfer the website successfully. If you check the website, you can see it's working and hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below.